Hi, I'm Frankie Lovato, and uh, in this clip I want to give you some, some good, safe examples of, of a good way to mount your, your racehorse here. Um, we've got Brownie, he's sitting on a riser stand that's got him sitting up about 15, 15 plus hands. That's going to be a great way to give you a nice shot of uh, some good tips on mounting your racehorse. Um, first of all, what I want to do is when I approach my racehorse, it's important that your body language is uh, you don't approach your horse, you're likely if you're at the racetrack, if you're a jockey, you may be carrying a whip. So it's important that you don't approach your horse where it might set them off already. So your body language is important. Also, you don't want to approach a horse from behind. It's, it's kind of common sense, but especially a racehorse. They'll cow kick you or double bury in, in a heartbeat, especially if you're carrying a whip and they can see it. So the best way to approach your racehorse is I'm going to approach him from the front shoulder and I'm going to walk up to him this way. Um, at this point, a lot of times what we'll, you'll see a typical scenario where the, the, the grooms will have the reins. They won't be tied in the knot, but they'll be untied and wrapped around the back of the saddle. That's just another safety reason if a horse was to get loose uh, that the reins aren't dangling where they can get their leg caught in them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my stirrup down. And when I pull my stirrup down, I don't do it like anything that'll, that could set my horse off. I, I'm very kind of kind and gentle about it. Pull your stirrup down nice, nice and soft. Then take your left rein, pull it around the back of that saddle. And then I'm going to grab a half cross. We're gonna, let's just like a bridge in our reins that gives me a little bit of contact. In case when I do, do make that mount, when it, if this horse takes off with me, I'm going to have something to go with uh, to stop that horse. And I'm going to grab a lock of mane. Now another thing that's very important is because we're carrying a whip, that you don't want to just you, you, you got to be careful your body language and, and what you do with this. This can also set a horse off. So what you want to do is carefully, you bring your horse up around the back of your body, around the back of that horse, around the back of the saddle. So there was nothing there that would really, that horse could see to set him off. It, had I been careless about it or poked that horse in the butt or was sloppy about bringing my whip over, that's, that's definitely what you don't want to do. So nice, nice and quietly you bring your, your whip up behind your body and back around your saddle. You can also, I mean, there are the times if you feel, if you're on a two-year-old or a baby, that you, could, you can mount with it in your left hand, keeping it close to your body, and get on this way. Um, so either way, it's, it's just a safety uh, tip or something you can try whatever you're comfortable with. But typically at the races, we're going to mount from the shoulder. We're going to bring that whip quietly behind the saddle. Now, I'm going to put my right hand on the, the pommel. I'm going to grab a lock of mane, and I'm going to get a leg up here from Kate. Now, once I'm on the get up here, I want to come down on my horse nice and soft. I don't want to plop on him. I don't want to set this horse off forward. And, and it's not good for a horse, any horse's back anyway. So I want to come down nice and soft. And I'm going to take my whip here, and I'm going to put it under my leg. I'm going to get my feet in the stirrups. So now that I've, I've, I've got my whip out from under my leg, now I, get, I could actually use my leg to hold my whip in position while I'm getting ready to get tied on and tie my knot for my racing reins here. So here I'm going to do a typical typical uh, double double loop through the middle type knot. And uh, now I'm ready to go to the track. OK, now we're going to give you just a different angle um, of mounting your racehorse. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up over here. I'm approaching my racehorse from the shoulder, not from the hind end. I'm going to take my, my reins from behind the saddle. I'm going to make my cross. Well, here I'm pulling my stirrup down, uh, nice and soft. Got my cross. I got a lock of mane. I'm going to put my, my right hand on top of the palm of the saddle, and I'm going to spring up. And I'm going to come down nice and soft. Now, when I come down, I can take that, that whip and tuck it right under my leg um, right away and until I get my feet ready to put my feet in the stirrups. So now I can pick my whip up. I can put my feet in the stirrups. I still got control of my horse in my left hand. I got both reins. Now I can take my whip and I can use it under my leg again to hold it for me while I get tied on. So now I'm going to get my reins together. I'm going uh, to tie my knot. I like to do that, that double loop and through the hole. Every, everybody's got a different way and different horses. You might tie a different knot. But uh, now, now I'm tied on and ready to go to the track. One other thing I'd like to add to the mounting uh, your racehorse is how important it is that you spring up and that you're light in, in your saddle and uh, light with your hands. And for my, the person that's legging me up, 
that they're not doing all the work. So you'll, you'll be impressive to the trainers and the grooms that give you a leg up if you're able to take on that a lot of that and just spring right up there nice and light and come soft in your saddle. Um, that, that's a, a, a nice way to do it. So um, there's your, your mounting tips for the day. Thank you.